Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to hack into someone's Windows account if you don't have their password. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is go to your internet browser and go to con-boot.com and what this program allows you to do is access someone's Windows account without their password. So on the website, if you scroll down, you can buy a version of Conboot for either $15 or buy a commercial license for $75. There is a free trial version down at the bottom of the screen, but as you can see by the list, there's no Windows 7 support. So if you're trying this on a Windows Vista system or XP system, then it'll work. So now that you've either purchased a licensed version of Kanbu or installed the free trial, you're going to want to burn that to a DVD or CD. And I'm going to be showing you how to use Kanbu in VMware just so I can record my desktop as it's restarting. And before we do anything with Kanbu, I'm just going to change my password on here and log off and show you that I truly am using a password. So I'm going to go into my user accounts and change my password. And I'm changing it to 123456. Okay, now that my password's changed, I'm going to log off real quick. Now I'm just going to sign back in using my password. And as you guys can see, I indeed do have a password set up on the computer. Okay, so the next step that we're going to take is that you're going to want to insert your Conboot CD into your CD drive now. And once that's inserted, you're going to want to restart Windows. And I'll just speed this up right now just so you guys don't have to sit through it. Now as you're restarting you're going to see this Kanbu splash screen pop up and this will tell you that it's actually working correctly. And now it will just load up Windows normally. And I'll fast forward through this section again just so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, and now when your Windows screen pops up, don't enter anything into the password area. And then all you're going to do is click the next button. And as you can see, Windows logged me in successfully without entering a password. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe to my channel. And if you missed my past two videos, you can go check those out as well. One of them shows you how to hack into a WEP encrypted Wi-Fi network, and the other one shows you how to download and install a virtual private network called iPredator. So if you haven't already checked those two out, you can right now if you'd like, and I hope you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you guys later.